Is Ed Sheeran's Shape of You a ripoff? At a copyright hearing earlier this week, the Shape of You hitmaker, 31, was seen entering the courthouse dressed in a black suit and tie, a white shirt, and a black face mask that matched his attire. To help promote his new album, the singer-songwriter will go on a UK tour later this month. But first, let's look at Ed Sheeran's Shape of You and the song that he's accused of plagiarizing. After being accused of plagiarizing parts of his 2017 hit song, Shape of You, Ed Sheeran is now embroiled in a copyright struggle at the UK's High Court in London. Songwriter Sammy Chakri's 2015 single, Oh Wise, The Hook, which runs OI, 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 has been claimed to have been lifted by the 31-year-old singer-songwriter who released the song in 2017. In May of this year, Sheeran and his co-authors filed a lawsuit against Mr. Chakri and Mr. O'Donohue, requesting that the High Court rule that they had not violated their copyright. Hello everyone, and welcome to another video on our channel. In today's video, we will be discussing that is Ed Sheeran's Shape of You a ripoff? Yeah, you heard that right, so let's dive in. Forensic musicologists are challenging the song's originality in court due to a copyright case. In a high court copyright battle, a forensic musicologist stated Ed Sheeran's Shape of You was carved from humanity's favorite scale. Sammy Chakri, as Sammy Switch, published OY in 2015, which he says Sheeran's Shape of You took from. Mr. Chakri and his co-writer, Ross O'Donohue, who created the song with Mr. Sheeran, said the song's leading OI hook was strikingly similar. Despite the dispute, Sheeran and his co-writers, Stephen McCutcheon, and Johnny McDade still earned $5 million a year from Shape of You, the court heard. Both parties in the song's originality dispute contacted forensic musicologists. Mr. Sheeran sought advice from art critic and former Manhattan School of Music theory professor Anthony Ricci Gliano. The American musician previously backed Led Zeppelin's successful defense of Stairway to Heaven against a writ alleging the iconic opening melodic pattern plagiarized a 1968 song by the band Spirit, that any similarity between the 2017 music and OY was a product of copying was deemed objectively implausible. A music specialist, Christian Sadell, was brought in to testify on their side by Mr. Chakri and Mr. O'Donohue. The number and strong similarity of the melodies make it exceedingly doubtful that they could be independently created, he concluded. Both sides' lawyers claim that when the song's melodies are transposed to the same key, the succession of notes is identical. Trax's melodies were nearly identical in rhythm. Instrumentation created a startlingly similar sound and texture, and vowel sounds in a chanted piece further increased the resemblance in musical sound and texture, they said. Claims of overstated similarities between the two songs were rejected by Mr. Ricci Gliano, who claimed to be an impartial judge. There are commonplace types of phrases, both in terms of use by other authors and Mr. Sheeran himself, if there are any parallels. Because of this, it was objectively implausible that there would be any parallels. To support his claim that the OI phrase in Sheeran's song contains a fundamental minor pentatonic rhythm that is absolutely ubiquitous, Mr. Sheeran submitted a written argument. Leonard Bernstein once said, the pentatonic scale is humanity's favorite scale, and it is so well known that one can find examples of it from all corners of the earth. Mr. Ricci Gliano quoted that statement in his written testimony. QC Andrew Sutcliffe asked the expert on behalf of Chakri and O'Donohue, you accept, don't you, Mr. Ricci Gliano, that despite all your research, you have not found any examples in any corner of the earth over the past 200 years which sound phonetically the same as the chorus in OY and the post-chorus in Shape of You. Mr. Ricci Gliano said that it's accurate. Wasn't that mind-boggling? In response to Mr. Sutcliffe's question, the expert said no. The lawyer said that the two song lyrics appeared within months of one another and that they sound nearly the same. While the two are coincidentally similar, they also have distinctive distinctions. 
Well, Mr. Ricigliano added, there was an overfocus on minor pentatonic scale illusions in the case, according to Mr. Sedell. The OI and OY lines are melodies, not scales, he argued. According to his findings, he determined that striking and considerable parallels between OY and Shape of You main vocal melodies was there. Both melodies were essentially identical regarding their beat, pitch, phonetic sounds, and other creative characteristics. He also noted that the vocal lines were musically indistinguishable to the ear. Neither the same combination of either the OY phrase combined phonetic sound with pitch and rhythm or the OI phrase, combined sound and rhythm, in any other compositions could be located by the two musicologists. When asked whether a license should be obtained from the creators of OI, Mr. Sedell responded, had he been consulted in any copyright compliance capacity, his guidance would have been that either the melody should be omitted and replaced with a new original material or a license should be obtained. Well, that's all for today's video. Tell us in the comments section what you thought of it. I hope that you find this video interesting. And if you want to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing for more. And don't forget to give comments and provide us with your valuable feedback. We'll see you in the next video with some more amazing celebrity facts and stories. But until then, stay tuned.